Good morning. Wow. We are going on a icy winter adventure. Brian is taking his truck to somewhere in Georgia. Doug, no, Douglasville, Georgia. Road trip. Road trip. I'm gonna kill oh, myself. Shit. I'm taking the Chevy to somewhere in Ohio. We're both picking up stuff, packages. Pretty exciting packages, actually. Last night, we announced the winner to that beauty right there. If you guys didn't know, we've been giving away that 2017 GMC 2500 Denali. We call it Chili for the past six weeks. That just ended last night. We got the winner. His name is Henry Waltman. He's from Knoxville, Tennessee. Later on this week, we'll be bringing him his new truck. But in the meantime, I need a new giveaway truck. So we've been searching high and low for possible candidates for the next giveaway truck. I'm getting a lot more picky. I really want to give away really, really, really high standard stuff. You guys love the GMC giveaway. That was just an absolutely beautiful truck. Low key, I'm, gonna com I'm in a competition with myself to give away nicer and nicer vehicles each time. If you didn't win this one, it's okay because you guys always know that there's going to be another giveaway for you guys to get entered to win. Just wanna say, I appreciate everybody that enters and supports the channel, watches everything, you know, like it's amazing, <laughs> honestly. I get to give away absolutely beautiful vehicles. It's insane. Uh, so just from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you that watch and support the channel every single day. I would, this wouldn't be possible without you. Brian is heading to pick up the wheels for this truck. This truck that we're picking up comes, it actually has stocks and it has some like black 22 by 12s. Neither of those are like a really, really, really nice setup. And obviously I don't want to give away a truck on some 22 by 12s if it's not absolutely slammed or something. It's not a race truck or anything. So Brian is heading to Georgia, pick up a set of 26 by 14s that I found. They are freaking perfect. And then I'm going to take the Chevy, hook up the trailer, head all the way to Ohio to grab the truck. What, what's this? No, no, that's ain't. This is sand. We live in. We live in Florida. Anyway, got the 44 footer hooked up. Brand new trailer. This is uh, the second time technically that I'm using it, but the first time on a very, very long road trip with the truck on the trailer. So it should be pretty cool. The Chevy hauls it like there's literally nothing behind it, so it should be an absolute blast. The cinder blocks are frozen to the ground. Still have uh, crank jacks. We have to get the hydraulic jacks installed as soon as it gets nice outside. Take it over to one of these custom trailer builders in the area and see if they can uh, put some hydraulic jacks on it. Other than that, we are set up this year to have one badass tow rig set up. See you, bye. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are in the middle of nowhere in Ohio. <laughs> whole bunch of cornfields and snow. I absolutely love winter. That's sarcastic. I hate it. I can't stand this. It's freezing outside. I'm so ready for it to be summer. Maybe next year we'll invest in a, a beach house in like Florida or something so that we can make videos down in Florida in nice weather during the winter. Come back up to Antarctica in the summer when it's not like this outside. It's awful. My trucks barely want to start in the morning. It's just not a good time. But we are pulling up. I think this is the place. We shall see if there's a bright colored 5G sitting in uh yep there it is this is actually big enough I could probably pull inside all right well we're gonna we're gonna pull up in this dude's driveway with my 44 foot trailer he's probably not too happy to be outside in the cold but at least he's uh definitely gonna have a nice check as long as this truck looks halfway decent looks really 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 nice in the pictures <laughs> okay I'm excited now yeah besides it's a little dirty because he drove it today thing is freaking immaculate I'm so excited to show you guys when we get it back home oh my god well Another cash money check going to another hand and I'm going home with another truck. I mean, the trailer just was sitting in the in the field empty. So I figured might as well fill it up with something. Kind of sucks I'm by myself. So I didn't really have anybody to film loading it up or anything, but we got it loaded up. He's a great help. Thank you. I had to pay him extra. He's charging me a thousand dollars per hour. That kind of sucks, but truck looks sick. Nice little setup. I really like this blue color a lot. And don't worry, these are temporary wheels. Get to get it home, get it cleaned up. Throw, uh, we just picked up some 26s for it, actually. I sent my uh, my oh, filmer down to Georgia to go get 26s for it. I'm not really, I'm not even gonna do that much to it, to be honest. Maybe a turbo or something. Make it Pretty sound nice. nice. Yeah, second gen swap. Yeah. I'll try not to blow the trans. <laughs> I busted my ass. You busted your ass? Jesus Christ, I can't hear anything. Oh my God. It's a goddamn fighter jet. Thank you. I didn't know it came with an extra tire. I'll be like, it's hot. Ugh, you wanna spin that hole around? Papa Smurf, I got you some new wheels. Jesus. Looks good, don't it? That's going into my grandpa's truck. Reveal. Let's go. 
Sheesh. They look good. Holy cow. Oh, and they got the new style center caps. I like those. Those are sick. They don't yep. spin, but that's okay. And uh, they're American Forces, not JTX. Chris, if you're watching, I'm sorry. They're a good deal. I've been a, I've been a fan of these cut for a very, very long time. So I think it's going to look very, very good on Papa Smurf here. And they're the same tire size and wheel size as Chili that is now leaving. So I like these wheels. These are probably the favorite wheel and tire we've ever had on a giveaway truck. So I decided to go with that same size again. They ride good. They look good. They are good. And this truck's leveled. So it's going to look very, very nice. Actually, a ton of people were a fan of these little black wheels that it came on. They're, they're basically stocks to us. So those are just temporary. Came with stocks too. Oh. So I'll give them away with the stocks for sure. And then I'll try to sell these wheels. I don't know. I'll figure it out. If you have 26s, I doubt anybody's going to want the wheels that are on the truck right now. <laughs> yeah, it also came with these 5G stocks. These are actually my favorite stocks. I like these stocks a lot. It's not as cool as your truck. I don't know. This color is freaking Damn. killer. This interior is clean. Yeah. Fully loaded Laramie interior, sunroof, and everything. Grab the remote and turn on the stars. It's got a huge Starlight headliner. How many are there? 1,200. Okay. So not 2,500 like this truck, but it still has plenty of stars. It's a mega cab. Fully loaded. Sound system sounds amazing like every mega cab we've ever seen. But the color, the color is like what yeah. sold it for me. Which is clean. It's, yeah, we're going to get it detailed. The weather's supposed to finally get nice tomorrow and the next day. So get it all washed up, put some new wheels on it. Uh, third brake light, cab lights, everything's color match. It's got a leveling kit with Fox shocks. I drove it up the driveway, it rides amazing. I didn't even test drive this thing, honestly. I kind of just loaded it up. I was like, it starts, good to go. The thing has 20,000 miles. It literally still has a warranty. The chrome accents are very, very nice. I think it's perfect. If I would have bought this truck from factory, I would have did exactly this. I, th I think it's a, I think it's an eight out of 10 right now. I give it an eight out of 10. Once we get it all worked up, you know, cleaned up. It is ceramic coated already too. So all and we gotta do is already? oh, tons of rock uh, lights. Yes, I don't have and they're rock hooked rock up to the auxiliary switch. switch. And for the, for some off. reason, Abby's truck is hooked up to the auxiliary switches in her truck, and he can't have the rock lights on when it's off. This, this truck, for can. some reason, you can't have the rock lights on the whole time I drove it home. This is this will be the nicest giveaway truck we've ever had, and they're getting nicer and nicer every time. Because I thought that was gonna be hard to top because that truck's beautiful. Yeah. But this truck should give Chili a run for its money when it's all finished up. It's gonna just be preference if you like red more you'll probably like chili more but if you're a fan of blue like me that blue truck's gonna be amazing delivery day we haven't done this in a minute we haven't actually well it, it, six weeks we do it every six weeks but it feels like way longer than six weeks for some reason to the right a little bit there's a good and bad thing about giving away the nicest vehicle pros is uh, you guys get to enter to win dream trucks and it's absolutely amazing. But I tend to forget that these are also my dream trucks. It's cool, don't get me wrong, love it to death. I love seeing the smile on everybody's faces whenever I give them these. But like a tiny bit of my heart just like gets thrown away each time, each time, each time. One day I'm gonna have no heart left and I'm just gonna be depressed and I'm like- You could have kept them. I could have kept all of them. Also, I would have had like 76 vehicles right now though and I, I can barely handle the 12 that we have right now, so. Yeah, damn. Dude, from right here, it, it literally looks like 100 feet long. That's what she said. All right, guys, so we're here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We drove all day today, and we stopped by this little mall, kill some time. Winner of the giveaway, Henry, is uh, meeting us here at this mall. We got his truck, got the trailer, got Big Show, and apparently somebody robbed a bank down the road because there's hella sirens and there's a freaking fire truck at the taco place because the tacos were gas. By the way, Chili is dirty because it, if we would have cleaned it, yeah, if we would have cleaned it, we would have fucking came right back out and it would have been dirty again. So, so uh, yeah, we got the truck loaded up. My driveway, as you all know, is trashed. So we drove it down the driveway to go to the trailer and it, it, it's pretty dirty. Now we could have took it off, went down the road to a car wash. I already found one, but like he's going to drive it home. It's going to be trash we anyway. So who really cares? Yeah, the, the roads are garbage right now, so having a clean truck just isn't in the forecast. Uh, rolling on to 6 o'clock right now. He said he gets off work at 5, is going to meet us at this mall here around 6, so we are anticipating his arrival. Whoa. There we go. Spaceship mode activated. Ah, I still got to put the rock lights on the bed. When we put the flat bed on, I didn't switch over the rock lights, so I, I want to do a different brand. Still got to fill up this whole bed with more lights. It only looks like a little spaceship. We want it to look like a big spaceship. So the other night, we announced the winner live on my Instagram at Gabe Pro Productions. There was a lot of people in it. Actually, one of the biggest lives we ever had for a live drawing for the giveaway. There had to be like, what, 20,000 people in the, the live for this freaking giveaway or 10,000? Yeah. It was a lot of people. Thousands of people were in the live. With your Henry's name, I gave him a call. 
He's super excited to get his truck. I mean, who wouldn't? It looks freaking amazing. I'm going to be really sad to see it go. One of my favorite trucks we gave away so far. He had one request when I was talking to him on the phone. Super nice kid, by the way. Super grateful to get the truck. He said that it was okay with us. We wouldn't put him on camera. He wants to keep his identity a secret or like not be out in the public, his face and everything on the internet, which totally respectable. Not everybody wants to, you know, get their house robbed. Yeah. No. <laughs> not everybody true. wants to be on camera. And I, I guess his, his family would prefer to not be on camera as well. So we're going to respect that. We're going to have to attempt to film the delivery, him taking delivery of the truck without showing him on camera. Bear with me. It'd be about the same as if he lived in like California or something now shipping off the truck. Basically the same thing. You never see those winners on camera anyway. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Got the truck. Everything's perfect, dialed in 100%. Got fresh fluids in it, oil, fuel filters. Everything's been completely ground through at the dealership. Those tires are looking a tiny bit too bald for my liking. I bought a brand new set of rear tires. I advertised that this truck would come on stocks and grab at the beginning of the giveaway. I had it lined up to get a set of stocks and grabs from Missouri and a couple other places just in case. I think there was four people I had lined up to buy stocks and grabs for this truck and all of them flaked. Not a single deal went through. Everybody changed their mind last minute or wasn't able to meet me. I almost got a set, but he wanted like $5,000 for a set of stocks and crap. So I really wasn't worth it. I decided to give Henry brand new Venom tires with the truck. So not only does he have the truck, he's got the 26s, he got the he got the tires that are on it. Comes with everything is included at advertised, minus the socks and grab, but I think it'd be better to have brand new tires. So truck is coming as is, it's got tires in the bed. He can blow those tires off, do as many burnouts as he wants, and then swap them out for brand new ones. It was either $200 to $250 worth of entries. He got in pretty early, so he got the 10 times entry multiplier, and he is taking home Chili, a beautiful truck, probably the nicest this body style L5P Duramax out right now. The color is amazing. The wheel and tire setup is perfect, leveled, absolutely perfect. Runs great, drives great. It's got airbags in the rear so he can tow with it. Got traction bars so he doesn't have no wheel hop or nothing. It's got the beautiful tan Denali leather interior, 2,500 stars. I can go on and on all day about this truck. I love it to death. The next giveaway truck we're working on is going to be just as cool or cooler in my opinion. So I'm pretty excited to see that, but this will go down as one of the baddest trucks I've ever given away, point blank period. And I cannot wait to see his reaction to when he sees this truck in person. You guys won't see his reaction, but I'll be sure to let you know what he thinks. So we're gonna wait for his arrival and uh, keep you guys updated when he gets here. This thing looks so good. Yeah, hold on, <laughs> wait till he sees the stars now. Ah, he looks pretty excited. <laughs> yeah, he's cheesing. Come on, take a look. It's your truck. Oh boy. This is the worst part when you yeah. see it drive away. I'm They're gonna gone. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what? How many trucks is this? Is this is like the 13th truck? Something like that. Too many trucks. He's getting away a lot. And they're getting nicer and nicer every single time, which makes them hurt more and more every single time. Bro, that thing sounds so it's nasty gone. from the outside. I know. Oh my God. Bye, Chili. Bye, Henry. He's already talking about all of his friends that he's gonna gap with it, too. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have so much fun. He was excited. Very, yeah. very excited. Oh, please do something rowdy. So good. Uh, see you bye. Let's show them what they gave me. This doesn't normally happen. The giveaway winner showed up with gifts for me. I guess his mom is like a professional chef, pastry chef, and makes very, very, very good dessert. Oh. Okay, it won't be as cool as that. But basically, fancy strawberry shortcakes with a whole bunch of, she went, there's like a, a list of like 10 things that are in here. I'm so excited to eat these. I honestly like tacos and strawberry shortcake and I'll love you forever. Definitely non-alcoholic. Apparently like five people have this and I'm one of them. We can't open it, we can't drink it. No, I have a wine cellar that's empty. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this in the wine cellar. Maybe when my grandpa comes over, we'll enjoy it together or something. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Henry's family, you guys are all amazing. Super nice meeting you guys, super nice meeting you, Henry. I hope you love your truck just as much as I did, and I hope it treats you nice. He said he's up in the air, he doesn't know if he's gonna sell it or keep it, I always ask, we shall see. Hopefully he falls in love and keeps it forever and I get to see that truck at shows all year every year. Yeah. We got mail.
you know, it's inside the mail, but we need to put the wheels on. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is uh, Papa Smurf. That's the uh, the name I've decided to give this beautiful 5G. We call it Papa Smurf because it looks like uh, a grandpa truck for sure right now. This looks like something that, actually, I don't think my grandpa would drive this truck. He thinks it's a little boring. I sent him a picture of it yesterday. And he said, are you changing the wheels? And I was like, yes, grandpa, I am changing the wheels. We got uh, some 26 by 14 American Forces wrapped in some 33 inch Venom tires. The same wheel and tire setup or size, I should say, as Chili, the, late, the last giveaway truck that just left. <laughs> These things are freaking beautiful. That truck is eight by six and a half. These wheels are eight by 170. They came off of a Ford. They have like barely no miles on them and I got them for a pretty good deal. So I was like, whatever, we'll run adapters and it'll be wider. So who really cares? Nobody, nobody complains about wide wheels. So it'll sit just like a 16 wide wood with some two inch spacers. These are 36s. Or 22s. I didn't know these were 36. I thought they were 35. Ugly ass 22s and 36s. These tires, zero out of 10. Like, it's been really cold and wet and icy outside lately. These tires do not get any traction. I actually, I would trust my R8 getting up the driveway compared to this truck right now. Not only are those Venom tires going to make them look way better, this truck is going to be like actually usable. I should be able to drive it in the rain and not slip into a telephone pole, which almost happened five times. So we're gonna get these wheels bolted on real quick. I do not know if it, we have the lug nut socket. Every time, it's the same thing. We, we never buy, look at them. Ha. We buy a truck and then we realize we don't have the lug nut socket. And most people, don't ever give it to us. I'm gonna cry. It's the same one every single time. Stop making those. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> no. Uh... <sighs> It, it was takes a, a 20 minute job and then turns it into like a three hour job because we don't have the right lug nut socket. Maybe they're in the bed of the truck next to uh, the stocks. All right, uh, well, we're still gonna bolt the wheels on, but it's just gonna be a little bit more challenging than it was going to be five minutes ago. Inside this box is the wrong spike lug nuts. I get so excited whenever we get new trucks. I don't really like, honestly, I don't really pay attention to little details like what splines are the lug nuts? Yep, I ordered the hexagon ones again. Like this, a normal person. This usually works. See how it's like, it's got a tiny bit of room. The things we do for your guys' entertainment. It's really amazing. I love it so much. I, I'm actually not complaining. We have an amazing amazing job. If you sell a truck and you have spike lug nuts, when you buy the spike lug nuts, like when you order them from Amazon, take this little spike lug nut key right here, right? We're all going to do this together. Open the door of the truck. We're going to take any of the 17 million compartments, especially if you have a new truck. going to take it. You're going to take this. Wow. Now, whoever you, you could sell this truck to Donald Trump tomorrow and he will be able to take off the wheels without any issues whatsoever. Eight out of the 10 past trucks have all had a weird spike lug nut key and it doesn't exist inside the truck. And then we're stuck like ordering a million of them off Amazon and we never find the right one for the love of God. Sell your truck with freaking lug nut keys. I'm honestly just going to order like every spike lug nut they make just to get the key. jack sparkle like that yeah i don't think it does i it gotta get the not. detail they call the detailer we gotta get the jack detail tomorrow oh five please i missed you so much it's okay you'll have one soon i'll have one soon yeah well yeah because this is my dad's yeah no freaking way see i say that because wait a second i talk okay okay hang on it's in there <laughs> I talk all that shit Whoa. That is inside the truck. I didn't, this is the only door I didn't check. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I edit my own video, so maybe that's not included. But if it is, I apologize. He's smart and he gave me the lug nut key. I think we should Thank still God. include it for, because all the other trucks did not have it. Yeah, this is a, this is a very rare occurrence. This never happens. Whoa. That's sick. I'm very happy now. Frick yeah. This was totally worth all the money that I spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're floaters. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what that is. For yeah, sure. it's a it's a poor man's floater. You have to manually make it float. Does your wheel leak water normally? That's weird. Oh, that's just muddy water. Yeah. These soda wheels, they actually, they're called soda. They spelt soda wrong. It's supposed to be a D and not a T. He's kind of illiterate. They hold soda inside of them. That's actually just uh, Coca-Cola. Um, these are the Coca-Cola edition. You know, if you get stranded on the side of the road, you just twist this cap right here and Coca-Cola comes out. So then you don't starve. Hi Dehydrate? Dehyd no, well, I mean, Coca-Cola doesn't really hydrate you. Sodas. Do a, little, do a little size comparison. These are ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they're fucking Ooh. awful. <laughs> Growing up, this dude down the road from my house, he had like a big lifted truck. It was like a six inch lift and 35s. I thought it was a monster truck when I was growing up and I was like I want to be just like him he had these wheels he took off his uh he had fuels like fuel maverick like cast wheels for 
his like summer setup and then he had these as his winter setup i vividly remember and he uh he was saying how his winter setup cost more than a lot of people's like show setup and i was like now that i look at it these are not it pal why these are you are lying not <laughs> why the fuck you lying we got the bubba setup 22s and 36s versus 26s and 33s i know it's a rubber band but we like rubber bands yes the bigger the wheel if i could have a 30 inch wheel and a 30.5 inch tire i would do it 150 i want that bitch to be a paper thin and everybody complaints like they ride bad or like Actually, they're sacrificing those are like the best anything ones. these tires always ride like th this is the best riding setup we've ever had by far and it tows good ride i've never good. had any issues whatsoever you want to know i have had issues with like 26s and 35 i like this setup because it's like almost square say 33 14 and a half 26 so you put a 14 and a half and a 14 inch wide wheel the sidewall basically straight up and down there's like a tiny bit of stretch but it's not like you're putting a freaking 13 and a half wide on a 16 wide and we have stocks if you want to switch them and we do have stocks yeah when we give away this truck this truck for sure will be coming with at least one extra set of wheels honestly i wouldn't mind keeping those as like a roller setup for yeah. like rollers because <laughs> we're going to be building a lot of trucks this yeah. year we'll take as many extra wheels as we can get and also don't let your girlfriend drive this because uh she will definitely curb these wheels yeah your sister grandma your girlfriend no nah, grandmas are usually pretty good my grandma can whip it my she, grandma can't she had a <laughs> when i was in high school she had a mustang gt it was like an 05 but it was a california edition i do remember Ooh. that it had a drop top a tan drop top Bro, I thought that thing was a race car. I'd like call girls over. I was like 14 years old. My grandma's got a Mustang. If you want me to, me and her to slot and come pick you up, we've dropped the top. Go pick up these checks. Go take them out to ice cream. I was a menace to society before I even had my license. <laughs> okay, just look at it from from the side. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Some... Holy cow. We need acorn lug nuts because these spacers came with the wrong thread pitch. Sick. Side quest number. 17 of today you'll notice this wheel well has uh one has three rock lights per wheel well he either has 20 or 30 rock lights on the whole truck this thing is a spaceship at nighttime turn all the lights on when i was coming back home with it on the trailer and the entire time i was just staring at the rearview mirror like oh my god i bought a big blue spaceship it's got a leveling kit so it has real leveling springs and not just like a dinky little puck like most people do and it has fox shocks with this like little piggyback reservoir on top which is really freaking ball I've, I've actually never seen a leveling kit this nice before whoever did this leveling kit they probably had good money into it and all the factory angles work it has a front drive shaft four-wheel drive works amazing i've tested it already pulling it up with the trailer with the ice 10 out of 10 i'm very impressed this truck says it, it rides good it looks good it is good went to the local off-road store grab some lug nuts the right thread pitch so you can put the lug nuts on <laughs> we're torquing them down torquing everything down with the torque wrench digital torque wrench we're getting good at this no wheels are falling off in 2024 well as long as brian doesn't drive the truck we should be fine that thing is gonna be so wide that's like almost outside of the fender you can tell which trucks are mine on the yeah internet. they all sit about the same if it's a level truck i have a certain amount of stands if it's six inch eight inch lift i have a certain amount of stands and if it's over like 20 inches i just go as big as physically possible like a chevy or a gmc they have square Fenders. wheel wells yeah wheel wells yeah. they have square wheel wells a dodge and a ford has circle usually i like to go a little bit wider on my dodges and my fords iggy back in the day my fifth gen i've put three inch spacers with 26 by 16s and 35s on stock height and it was perfect <laughs> but as a giveaway truck i want it to be a little bit more practical this will look really good. You all know that I'm a huge JTX fan, so if I run a different brand, it's because I have found, like, the perfect cut. I've always been a huge fan of, like, old-school wire wheels, and, like, I like complicated straight spoke. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. that looks up. I look outside, and I'm like, yeah... Looks like it should be about three quarters of the wheel sticking out. That's enough poke for me. And the 26 is on a level truck. Oh, my God. Yes. You versus the guy she told you not to worry about they look amazing that's like perfect so when i look at a truck and i look at like how i'm like going to pick the model for the wheels or the cut for the wheels i look at all the lines on the truck so in this truck we got a whole bunch of straight horizontal lines on the grill and it also has a little bit of honeycomb on the bottom um so i was thinking a lot of straight spokes looks perfect amazing hit the nail on the head of that one somehow i uh accidentally bought a 3500 fifth gen as well it's a single row wheel so what does that mean? That means from factory, it has Ram air suspension. That means from factory, it has airbags and leaf springs. Unlike a 2500 that has coils in the rear, which is basically useless if you want to haul a gooseneck. This truck, you can hook up to any trailer and pull it all over the country. This is the same exact setup that my Iggy truck had in the rear. And this truck 
towed like a freaking dream. And then I lifted it and then I put a G56 in it and made it undrivable and I hated my life. This truck is not only beautiful, beautiful paint, beautiful everything. It is a workhorse, it is ready to haul whatever boat, gooseneck, trailer car trailer anything you could put brian in the bed and even though he's fat as hell it wouldn't squat yeah so this right here is a height sensor automatically it senses when you have a trailer on it so this will go down pushing this rod up and then it knows to fill that airbag until this little sensor is flat and there's not like a normal controller like normal air ride because it's factory there's a little button right here it says alter trailer height literally click that when you have your trailer hooked up it automatically sets the truck to the perfect level or ride height, fills the airbags with the correct amount of air automatically. So then you can haul a trailer, which is freaking sick. Thank you, Dodge. I've been a sucker for GM lately. Ram has their like technology side of their trucks on point, 150%. These trucks are ready to work. They sound better too. They do sound amazing. This one has an exhaust brake too. another internet breaking truck i guarantee you. i can already tell this thing looks like a marker rolling down the highway and um it could be yours <laughs> literally we are giving away this beautiful fifth gen mega cab cummins all you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today super simple this truck and ten thousand dollars in cash you'll be walking away with the keys to this beautiful truck and ten thousand dollars in cash title in hand ready to go your name all you have to do is register it and drive it for the rest of your life. It's yours, no stipulations. We've done this a million times before. This is by far the nicest truck we've ever given away. For launch week, we're doing a times 10 entry multiplier. That's the biggest entry multiplier of the entire giveaway. Take advantage of the sale and get entered right now. And who knows, on March 1st, I might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck, Papa Smurf. Now, who is Papa Smurf? This is a 2021 Ram 3500 Mega Cab short bed fifth gen coming start with the exterior tons of paint match knockout cam he did all the paint match on this truck and if you know knockout cam you know he does an amazing job paint match bumpers paint match headlights tail lights cab lights all the badges on it are color match color match mirrors the whole nine yards there's not a single piece of plastic on this truck that isn't color match it's leveled fox shocks all around for wheels and tires we got some 26 by 14 american force wheels for tires we got 33 by 14 and a half Venom tires. They ride amazing. They look great. Fully loaded Laramie, every option. Heated and cool seat. It's got the massive fifth gen screen. Everybody loves my favorite part about a fifth gen. Up above, we got a sunroof and 1200 stars. They all change colors and everything. Via Bluetooth or this controller, you can change all the colors, a million colors, anything that your little heart desires. And uh, it just makes the vibe of driving this truck way, way better. I love stars just because you feel like you're driving a Rolls Royce. Uh, factory power steps. This is the newest truck we've given away. At the point of this recording has 26,500 miles, basically a brand new truck. This truck still has factory limited powertrain warranty for five years or 60,000 miles. So that comes with the truck. Anything breaks on this truck, you can go to your local Dodge dealership and they will take care of you. Not only does it come on the 26 by 14s, we're keeping these in the bed the whole time. Brand new fifth gen takeoff stocks, brand new tires, 26s, stocks, the truck, and $10,000 in cash. Last thing we gotta do when we get home, I forgot to throw a uh, GFP sticker on it before I left, so it will be included. It has a GFP sticker on it. Those stickers aren't sold. We get questions a lot. Where can I pick up the GFP stickers? We don't sell them. They only come on giveaway trucks, and if you're lucky enough to buy a truck off of me, which very rarely happen let me know in the comments if you guys want anything to be changed on this truck and if there's an overwhelming amount of people that have good ideas we will make changes but at this point in time this is how it comes get entered good luck to everybody have a good night
So this is a unicorn of a truck, and right there is just an actual unicorn. That is a uh, cocaine. That's our albino deer, our local albino deer. She's pretty nice. I actually am amazed that that deer is still alive because it's really old. Like it looks like a three or four year old. All the way up here, I, I didn't even notice the other deer around. I was like, what's that white snowball looking thing by the tree line? It's just cocaine.